right everyone, hope you're well. So, we're doing something strange, though uh, the strange is relative. So we like using things in ways it shouldn't be. That's basically what this channel is all about. And this is no exception. What we're gonna be creating is an indoor cold smoking machine. Oh yes. So uh, you may be thinking that has nothing to do with homebrewing, but it kind of does. I mean, it has a lot of crossover. Today we're going to be smoking a couple of various things that I just want to smoke, because I can. I have some lovely oak chips, and I'm going to be oak smoking a little bit of garlic and a bit of cheese, just to prove that it works and it tastes good. But this has a lot of crossover into homebrewing. Maybe you want to add a smoky flavor into your beers. Maybe you just, you know, want to smoke some random ingredients. You can do that. This is fantastic for doing lots of weird stuff. It adds a whole new twist onto your homebrew. So why not? It doesn't cost that much to do. So the main thing that we're going to need is a container and a soldering iron. Oh yes. Now it has to be a low, a, a low, a cheap soldering iron. You don't want to spend a lot of money on a fantastic soldering iron just to stick it in a box. But it does need to be a new soldering iron because uh, a used one is going to have lead and various other fluxes and stuff and that will impart its contaminants into whatever it is that you're making. We don't want that. So uh, safety first. So I got a cheap soldering iron. This one is Ningong. Sure. <laughs> I also have a plug, a UK plug because this is a European fitting for some reason. I don't know why. And plus we're going to be cutting the cable because uh, we want this box to be airtight. Now, I've got a small box, as you see, a lovely pretty small box. It is mostly translucent and uh, I'm going to be using it, one, because you can see, and two, it's small and I can just stick it out of the way. Bigger boxes are a lot easier to use because, well, you've got more room to put everything in. And you can do more and, yeah, you know, all of that type of stuff. Bigger is better, but this is what we got. That's what I'm going to use. Of course, we've got some oak chips and we need something to put our lovely whatever it is we're going to be smoking on there because we don't want it to come in contact with the box because people were, I'm sure people will say, ah, oh, plastic contains BPA. Well, yes it does, but that's particular types of plastic, not every plastic, but this is not a food grade plastic box, so uh, BPA isn't really a worry. Lead and uh, mercury could be. So uh, make sure it's not in contact and it's not going to get hot. It's a cold smoker. It actually, the only runtime is a couple of minutes, two or three minutes. And then the rest of the time is it to uh, drop all the smoke out and coat out whatever we're putting on there. Really handy. Uh -huh. Heat proof. You need something heat proof because we don't want to melt the plastic and uh, we need somewhere to store our chips and our soldering iron. So I've just got a cheap cup and then we're going to try and fit it all together. Um, if you don't have one of these trivets, uh, you can quite literally poke some holes um, in the side of the box and fill it full of chopsticks or barbecue sticks, anything like that. That was the first one I did and it worked for ages, just like that. And uh, yeah, until I broke it. Yeah. So <laughs> let's, uh, let's create a cold smoker and let's make some tasty things. Cool. So the, ooh, it, da, da, da. So the first thing we need to do is uh, get the soldering iron because we need this to be airtight or the house is going to fill full of smoke and uh, we don't want that. I mean, maybe you want that, but I don't. So let's open up this fantastically cheap soldering iron <laughs> and then quite literally just cut off the plug. Yeah. Scissors would be probably better, but as long as you cut away from yourself, it's all good. Now I'm just going to strip off this so I can fit it into my plug in the bin. There we go, looking good. You can just pull off these cheesy bits of plastic. Oh yes, mighty thin wire. Then it can fit into the plug, but uh, we need this the plug off so we can actually put it inside our box. So uh, let's just... There we go! That's all we needed to do. <laughs> so now the soldering iron can go in the box at the bottom. Look at 
looking lovely. And we can just cover that over with a little bit of tape. Doesn't matter, because it's not gonna be in contact with the food. So uh, that is basically how hard it is to make. Then we'll have our cup on the inside, which is heat proof. And then we'll have our lovely trivet, just quite literally poked on the top there. Just rested, ah, there we go. Play around with it for a bit until it all fits nicely. And uh, yeah, basically, as long as it's above, then we can put the lid on. That's basically how difficult it is. You can be as fancy as you want with it, but uh, it, yeah, as long as it works, it doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna wire up this plug and um, we're, we're gonna get started to smoke some tasties. <laughs> So pretty much everything is already set up. It doesn't take long to do, really easily. So uh, soldering iron's in, it's been taped shut uh, just to make sure the smoke does not escape. And what we're gonna be smoking is a bit of garlic, because I can, and I saw it in uh, Morrison's the other day, and they were selling a single bulb of garlic that was smoked, oak smoked, for 65p, and I was like, I could make that at home. So I bought many bulbs of garlic for 65p and I'm going to smoke them because I can. And we're also going to be doing a little bit of Cathedral City extra mature cheddar because it just goes really well. So I've cut the smoking block and I've got the original so we can compare them and uh, I can eat two types of cheese. Why not? So <laughs> let's, just, uh, let's just load this up with some oak chips. Now, uh, for a smoker of this size and the power unit, which is a cheap soldering iron, the finer the chips, the better it's gonna work, and also the quicker. So we quite literally just dump some chips into the cup. Uh, why not? Everything counts in large amounts, like so. And then we just bury the soldering iron, like so. Yeah. Just bury the tip of the soldering iron, into there. So we are set up and ready to go. On goes our trivet. That is lovely and balanced. In goes our block of cheese. Looking good. And a bit of garlic. Oh! Now what we've got to do is stick the lid on and uh, plug it in. So the smoking process has been completed. Now it takes about three minutes for the soldering iron to heat up and then you turn it off because you don't need it to be hot with cold smoking. It doesn't take long at all. Then the remainder of the time, which is about 45 minutes, maybe a bit longer depending on how lazy you're feeling, um, is just left with the box closed and all the smoke will drop down onto whatever it is you're smoking. And then you just take it out and flip it around and do it again. Now, the more oak chips you add, the darker the smoke, but, uh, you know, I'm, I, just, I just want to eat it now. I don't want to do another run. So first, I've got uh, two bits of garlic to compare, and I'll take a picture, and I'll put it on the screen so you can see. But there is a distinct difference. It is not like a stupidly dark smoked um, garlic thing. Oh, but it smells so good. It smells of smoked oak. Not bad. So, uh... I bought like four bulbs of garlic for 65p and I've smoked my uh, bulb of garlic. So in theory, this bulb of garlic is worth more than uh, the whole four pack I bought. Oh, so good. Anyway, that's not what we're here for. What we're interested in is the cheese. Oh yes. So I actually cut a bit off of the Cathedral City cheese, a nice white block like so. And we've got our smoked cheese. Now there is, you should be able to see a color difference, but again, I will stick a picture up on the screen so you can see what I'm seeing. It is looking smoked. It's looking, oh, it's looking like perfection. It smells so good. So uh, I was just about to put that in the smoker. So uh, this is the bit I've been wanting to do. Oh yeah, a little bit of 
smoke. A little bit of normal cheese. Now I chose oak smoked for the mature cheddar because it can handle it and that's why I didn't go stupidly uh, crazy with the smoking. Mmm, fresh bit of cheese, very tasty. Not bad. Now, the smoked cheese. That is so good. I really like oak smoke on, uh, on mature cheese. It goes really well. So there you have it. That's how you produce an indoor smoker and smoke whatever you want. Mm. I'm just gonna eat some cheese. It's good. So guys, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out some of the other ones and well, subscribe and share and like and do all that stuff if you feel like it. Carry on smoking. Yeah. See you later, guys.